Thank you very much. The world is facing a medical emergency far graver than what we have experienced in over a century. The World Health Organization has declared the coronavirus outbreak as a global pandemic. There are now more than 162,000 people who have tested positive for the coronavirus across the globe. Given the scale and the speed at which the virus is spreading, it is now clear that no country is immune from the disease or will be spared its severe impact. As of now, South Africa has 61 confirmed cases of people infected with the virus, and this number is expected to rise in the coming days and weeks. Initially, it was people who had traveled out of the country, especially from Italy, who had positively tested for the virus. It is concerning that we are now dealing with internal transmission of the virus. This situation calls for an extraordinary response. There can be no half measures. Following an extensive analysis of the progression of the disease worldwide and in South Africa, Cabinet has decided on the following measures. Firstly, to limit contact between persons who may be infected and South African citizens. We are imposing a travel ban on foreign nationals from high-risk countries such as Italy, Iran, South Korea, Spain, Germany, the United States, the United Kingdom, and China, as from 18th March 2020. Also contributed immensely to the late start where the consultations. This epidemic will pass, but it is up to us to determine how long it will last how damaging it will be, and how long it will take our economy and our country to recover. It is true that we are facing a grave emergency. But if we act together, if we act now, and if we act decisively, I am sure we will overcome it. We have never been defeated by any Thing, event when we are united. Uh, engaged with this work and their national. Thank you, colleagues, and thank you, President.